What is up, guys? Welcome to Marmalade's 2016 Year in Review. I am Gordon from Marmalade. And I am Richie from Marmalade. And we're going to spin you through what it, what went on in 2016 in Marmalade and Etsy's space. So, some cool numbers coming at you here. This is probably the one that means the most to Richie and I. And that's the number of shops that we were able to help throughout 2016. 32, almost 33,000 Etsy shops we were able to help uh, through using Marmalade and the other tools that we offer, which is fantastic. Now, one of the other things that we also pride ourselves on is our level of personal support that we provide too. We're not just some kind of closed off tool that it's really hard to get at the people behind the scenes and get any questions answered and stuff like that. We want to make sure that we're super accessible. And so Richie, myself, and yep, Kevs, I'm right here. He's right there. <laughs> I'm right here. Uh, Kevs is probably sleeping right now, but he's also accessible <laughs> too. Uh, hit up any of us with emails. There's a, there's a contact us thing for the app. but. Throughout 2016, we were personally able to help over 3,000 Etsy sellers, which is awesome, too. We pride ourselves on that a lot. Now, also in 2016, we had over 18,000 forgotten passwords. That's just no good. That's crazy. That's four times more than 2015. So, knock it off. Remember your passwords. <laughs> Use LastPass. <laughs> Use LastPass. Plug for LastPass. Plug LastPass. I like it. Keyword searches <laughs> inside of Marmalade. Um, in 2016... We had 1.7 million keyword searches done inside of Marmalade, which is seven times more than 2015. That's fantastic growth. We'd love to see this continue on through 2017 too. More people in the tool using it, more people getting meaningful information about SEO by doing keyword searches inside of Marmalade. One of the other features we have is keyword comparisons. Uh, so if you're an entrepreneur inside of Marmalade, you can really easily compare up to four different keywords and see really quickly which ones have higher engagement, which ones have more results, uh, and what the price spread looks like for the different keywords. And throughout 2016, we had almost a million comparisons done inside of Marmalade between different keywords, which again is a lot more than 2015, 29 times more than 2015. Love to see this continue on into 2017 too. We think it's a super useful tool as you're trying to drill into which keywords you should actually be using inside of your tags and your titles. Right, I mean, with comparison, it's really important because it's like, okay, is this a good one? Well what are my options right yeah. you're trying to pick the best yeah. of what's available and relevant to you you know um is this big yeah. i don't know it's a big water bottle compared to one of those little dixie cups to give you the <laughs> dentist office you know what i mean is yeah. it big for a water bottle no is this keyword good i don't know compared to these three yes yeah there you go absolutely and you've got 13 spots you got to fill them with your best 13 options out of pretty much anything you can think of right so it's, it's always important to compare back to other keywords and see how they're performing versus other ones. Now, total searches. So we mentioned we've had 1.7 million uh, this year alone. Recently, we just crossed the 3 million keyword search mark. So we have 3.01 million keywords that have been searched inside of Marmalade total uh, since the, since it's been around. That's awesome. Super happy about that. Big number. Big number. Huge number. Huge. Huge. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do a couple top fives here. The first top five is the most searched keywords inside of Marmalade. So these are keywords that sellers uh, have been searching for the most. Number five is wall art. Number four, nursery decor. Number three, baby headband. And number two, Christmas gift. And the number one most searched keyword in Marmalade in 2016 was gift for her. Crazy popular one. Uh, if you've been looking at the, the trending tags, this one shows up in there quite frequently. Uh, so it's no surprise that this ends up being the number one search that we do inside of Marmalade day to day. Now, also in 2016, we released a bunch of new features, some, some really big ones too. Um, we've added Keyword Storm, which is a way of brainstorming keywords for your listing based on just a single keyword. You throw a keyword at it and it'll start coming up with a whole bunch of things. And as you add things to your list, it's going to keep coming up with a bunch more. Um, listing scores. So now if you tie your shop to Marmalade, we will go through and analyze every single one of your Etsy listings and give you a letter grade score for how that listing is performing with respect to SEO. So anything that impacts SEO uh, gets factored into this grade. Things that don't, don't. So you can drill into any one of those listings and you can see even more information about that listing. Things that don't necessarily impact SEO, but things that you're going to want to keep a close eye on. And a lot of that has to do with descriptions. So we analyze the length of your descriptions, how readable your descriptions are, uh, and your sentiment, whether you're being positive or negative in your descriptions. And spoiler alert, it helps to be positive. 
Also in 2016, we introduced our Entrepreneur Course Library, where if you're an entrepreneur at Marmalade, you have access to a library of videos, which we will constantly be adding to um, throughout next year and into the future. Um, so the storm, uh, right off the bat here, we only introduced these things in, in the very beginning of November. So these things have only been around for a couple months, but just in those couple months, we've already had over 35,000 storms generated by Marmalade users which is awesome in just a couple months and helped people find over 271,000 new keyword ideas in using those storms. Wow. Yeah. Now we talked about scoring listings. So if you've tied your shop and you come into Marmalade, you will see a scoring of your listings. And over the past couple months, since this feature again is pretty new also, we've analyzed over 20 million listings for Etsy sellers. That's a huge number. It is a huge number. Uh, our course Thanks. library has started small again. We've got two courses out there so far. We plan on adding more as time goes by. But even just in those couple months with those two courses, we've had over 735 people participate in watching those courses. So if you have, we also have an ebook in there. There is an ebook in there. I forgot to mention that again. <laughs> 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 so check out the courses plus the ebook. All right. So time for another top five here, guys. And this again. One of the things that we can do with Marmalade is look across the data for the entire year and find out some of the keywords that had the highest engagement. So this, these are going to be keywords inside of Etsy, which had the most views and favorites and things like that, that indicate that people are actually engaging with these searches and not just typing a search into the search bar and then never actually doing anything because that's not going to get you very far. Number five is personalized, which also happens to have super high engagement or super high competition rather. So. Uh, just bear that in mind if you're considering using any of these high engagement keywords you're going to want to make sure that you can rank for them and the higher that they score for competition the harder it's going to be to rank for those that's not to say you can't number four my personal favorite is nasty woman uh which kind of like a wink to american politics this year but also kind of a cool note that you know as as things trend in the real world they start to trend on etsy uh really quickly things can can move really fast um, in etsy space which i thought was kind of cool that one has a very low competition, by the way. Number three, crochet pattern. Also super high competition for that. Number two, messy bun beanie, which apparently is, is a new thing that's just come about. And the number one most highly engaged keyword uh, this year is crochet. Super high competition for that one though. So if you are a shop starting out and you sell a lot of crochet stuff, you might want to be careful about using that at the very front of your title and your tags because if you're not able to rank for it it might not be doing you very good there until you get more sales and kind of that like proven track record to be able to start ranking for these more competitive keywords and also take note though that the two keywords on there that are new for 2016 and have i mean they're on the top five list for engagement uh but they don't have high competition right they have reasonable competition yeah Keep in mind that the new things are worth jumping on. Yeah. I mean, not every one of them. Make sure that they're relevant to you. But it's a nice reminder that when something is new and timely, um, that's an opportunity that the early adopters are able to jump on. Like, look at the very first people on Twitter, like how many followers they have and stuff like that, right? Or the first YouTube channels. Like, the longer you've been around, uh, when you jump on these platforms earlier, you know, you get like an edge, right? Um, and things get more competitive as they go. So crochet when it first started when Etsy first opened there were probably people that were like this is great you know there's I'm getting all sorts of sales there's not much competition and then now there's a ton of competition yeah. it's harder to break in yeah so see something new consider jumping in on it while you're one of the only ones there absolutely. even though they're shoppers there might not be a lot of sellers absolutely and in that same exact vein we went ahead and developed our very own uh marmalade personalized nasty woman messy bun beanie crochet pattern which you can pick up on our website, normally.com, which is actually not true. You can buy it on our website. Uh, special thanks to uh, Not So Plenty for their original Etsy product photo, which I have changed to be a nasty woman personalized beat. <laughs> <laughs> One of the other cool things we can do inside of Marmalade is look across the year and data and see when things start to get popular. So a couple good searches to look at here. Christmas time. It's good to know when things are starting to pick up for engagement for things like Christmas or other holidays. And you can look at the graph here and see that Christmas starts to pick up kind of in September, but really starting in October and November, uh, pretty popular there. 
lots of engagement with Christmas listings there. It tapers off actually a little bit in December, but if you're a shop and you're wanting to make sure you, your products are all teed up and ready to go, you're going to want to make sure you're kind of lined up for October to do that. Absolutely. Keep in mind, people know that handmade means lead time. So yeah, December, people are going to start getting nervous. They're going to start thinking, okay, there's not enough lead time for handmade gifts. Yep. Absolutely. Uh, wedding engagement. Wedding searches throughout the year, pretty constant. There's not one part of the year that really jumps out above the others, but we do have a couple little peaks around August, May, and then a little bit in like January, February. Mother's Day, very beginning of May. No surprise here. The big lead up to that is in the first two months before that, March and April. Father's Day, can't forget the fathers. We got the same thing for them too, right? Uh, looks like that's at the end of June. And so the big months for that are actually May and June. 4th of July, next up, great American holiday here. Um, common theme, a couple months ahead of time. So we're looking at July uh, and June and May have the highest engagement right ahead of July. So for anything that you're considering really, whether it's Halloween or you know um, Valentine's Day, any other holiday that's out there, good practice probably to assume that the first couple months leading up to that are gonna be the best ones to start rotating those tags into your listings so that you can start showing up in people's searches. Absolutely. And keep in mind that even if people aren't necessarily buying something during those months, um, they are taking note of things. They are saving things. I know that, you know, before the big holidays where I buy something or when I'm going to buy something in general, typically I run through kind of this pattern of doing a lot of searching and like saving things. And then I come back to them a little bit later. But yeah. if you're not there during my initial search, the chance of me finding you again is very little because I'm pretty much going off of my big list that I already made earlier on. Um, so point is, Get on that list so that then I can still evaluate you and decide, you know, who to buy from, you know, when it actually comes to uh, pulling out the credit card time. Yep, absolutely. Shop Fitness Calculator is another cool tool that Marmalade offers. You can find it at marmalade.com slash apps. And it's a free tool you can use. You plug in a bunch of your Etsy information there, and we spit back some cool information at you on how you're doing, and we, we give you a letter grade score and break that down into different areas, not just SEO, but some other ones too. Um, so check out your shop for this calculator score and see how you did. But looking across the data from 2016, we can see on average that the average Etsy seller has 4,277 views per month. Now that's across all of their products there. Um, and in that same vein, the average Etsy seller sees about 39 sales per month across all of their products that they have in their shop. Now, the really meaningful part comes when we combine these two numbers together, we can figure out the conversion rate, uh, which is an important number to keep in mind for any person that's doing any kind of e-commerce, selling things online. The average conversion rate for the Etsy seller right now is about 0.9% or 1%. Etsy says to shoot for three, but the average that we've collected from sellers seems to be about 1%. It's a good number to keep track of. There's lots of things you can do to impact this, you know, better photos, better descriptions. You want the right people finding your listings through SEO. Once they're there on your page, you want to seal the deal. You want more people uh, to end up making a purchase. That's going to drive this number up once they've landed on your page. There's things you can do to hurt this number, right? You can advertise to people who might not necessarily be interested in your product. You can do click parties. You can do all kinds of things to drive an insane amount of traffic to your listings of people that really have zero intention of buying your listing in the first place, which is going to drop this number down. It actually seems to have an adverse effect in Etsy rankings from what we've seen. Absolutely. Etsy wants to reward the winners. And if it looks like you are a third of the conversion rate they want to see, then, you know, that doesn't meet the criteria. Definitely. There you have it. There's your 2016 year in review. Uh, Happy to have you with us here, checking us out. 2017 is your year. Set your goals, set your sights on what you want to hit this year, whether it's a certain sales goal in your Etsy shop, whether it's leaving your day job to do your Etsy shop full time and have a bit of more freedom. Whatever those goals happen to be, set those up now and hit it hard to make 2017 your year. Absolutely. Go get after it. Don't overthink it. Don't overplan it. Just go take action. Do it. Do it. Just do it. <laughs>